What's up welders? In this video we're going to look at the Lincoln 3350 4C. Stick around to the end of the video where you'll see some arc shots from behind the hood on the Lincoln. That's enough talking, time to open it up and have a look. The helmet comes with a bag. It's heavily padded at the front which is good, be able to protect your investment. It's got drawstrings at the top to keep the dust out if you're in a workshop environment. It's also got a zip at the front which is a nice touch. The Miller and the Sentinel don't have that. You'll be able to put your clear lenses in there for storage. In addition to the helmet bag, the 3350 comes with 5 outside cover lenses, 2 inside cover lenses, an owner's manual. This is worth keeping for the replacement parts list or if you find your eyes getting tired and you may need to purchase some cheetah lenses. The sticker sheet. This is a nice touch from Lincoln, giving you the ability to put your name on the helmet and make it look factory as. A warranty card. A Foose bandana. Chip Foose is the man. Awesome car builder. I don't wear welding bandanas though. Let me know in the comments if you rate them. This is the fourth generation of this hood. The major thing Lincoln has done is redesign the headgear and added the external grind button. This is a rundown of the key specs to aid your bind decision. I've put a link for the helmet in the description below. The front cover lens is 114 by 133 millimeters, or 4.5 inch by 5.25 inches. The thing I like about the 3350 hood is the cover lenses are flat and cheaper due to the availability of aftermarket lenses on Amazon. From light to dark state, the 3350 has you covered with a 1 in 25 thousandths of a second switching time. The filter has four sensors. These are what trigger the switching from light to dark state. The last thing you want is to be ready to light up and the sensors are blocked, resulting in a flash. Staying with the brains of the hood, Lincoln has kept the dial type adjustments you'll be familiar with. The left side is the delay, with the range from 0.1 to 1 second. This is handy if you are running very high volts MIG welding or your arc gear gouging. The puddle or rods can be white hot, hurting your peepers. The centre dial is to adjust your switching sensitivity from light to dark state. Low amperage TIG welding needs more sensitivity, but in a workshop where a workmate is welding close by, you don't want your helmet to switch when your mate starts welding. You simply turn the dial to suit your situation. For the shade control, you will notice the dial has two ranges on the scale. To switch between the two, above the lens there is a switch, left for shade 5 to 8 and right for 9 to 13. If you need cheetah lenses, the clips are included to hold them in the Lincoln. And they do make them for this helmet, ranging from a magnification from 1 to 2.5 in 2.5 increments. Or if you are learning welding, you can get a rose tinted lens to make your welds look better. The fitted cover lens comes with an informational transfer that needs removing, protecting the large 95 by 85 millimeter or 3.74 by 3.34 inches. The 3350 comes fitted with the required CR2450, so it's ready to go straight out of the box. The helmet weighs in at 651 grams, or 1.4 pounds. The larger viewing areas and the ergonomic headgears of these premium helmets adds to the weight. The second new addition to the 3350 is the low profile grind button. This will save a lot of time and frustration when it comes to cleaning up a run, cutting out tacking bullets or grinding your stop starts. You won't have to lift your helmet up anymore to engage grind mode. Simply press the button down on the side for 3 seconds and you'll see a green LED to indicate that grind mode is on. To turn it off again, hold the button down for another 3 seconds and you're back in welding mode. The button has a texturing so you can feel it through your thick welding gloves. And I like the fact that it takes 3 seconds to engage it. You could be welding in, in an awkward position and accidentally bump it resulting in a flash. The X6 headgear is a major improvement on the 3354C. These red tabs here, you just simply lift them up and then you control the forward and backwards movement of the headgear. So if you're wearing a mask or you're in a different position, you can get it exactly where you want it. This is a major improvement over the, some of the designs that I've seen before. The two points of crown adjustment are a welcome addition and the ratcheting system at the back is now fitted with a foam pad. I've tried to adjust the camera to get it as close as possible to what you see behind the hood, but because of the camera, I can't get it to look exactly the same. 
I can assure you it actually looks a lot better in real life. This is one of the projects that I'm building on my YouTube channel, I'll put a link to it in the description below. The material is 2 inch by 2 inch with a 1 16th wall. I have my welder set to 44 amps and the flow rate at 17 litres per minute. The filler rod is 1.6 or 1 16th 316 LSI. As you can see the helmet is very clear. It's set to shade 9 but the camera sensors can't detect the tungsten or the puddle correctly. I will improve on my camera skills as I release more videos. If you found the video helpful hit the like button, it really helps with channel growth. If a mate is looking for a Lincoln hood, share this video with them, it could help them out. I'll link to the Miller Digital Infinity review and the project video in the end cards. And remember to subscribe and check the notification bell. Thanks very much.